What cattle farmers thought was rubbish has turned out to be space junk that belongs to SpaceX. It turns out that pieces of space debris falling from the sky isn't just a thing of science fiction anymore. This is the fourth time a piece of space junk has been retrieved from the snowy mountains in Australia. Keep watching to know all about this latest space odyssey. First up, a piece of space debris belonging to SpaceX found in the snowy mountains. On a very normal day in August, cattle farmer Jordan Hobbs came across an oddly shaped piece of junk on his field. Of course, it caused all kinds of excitement because it's not very often that farmers come across such strange objects on their property. Maybe in the movies and the books, yes, but in real life, it hardly ever happens. At first, Hobbs was going to dismiss it as a piece of trash and get rid of it. But then, he thought maybe he should investigate it a little bit. Turns out, the fragment looked very familiar to pieces that had been discovered before in July. On seeing how this wasn't just some random piece of trash, Hobbs called ANU astrophysicist Brad Tucker. With random pieces of space junk falling out of the sky, farmers are concerned about their safety. Hobbs even joked about how he's thinking of replacing his cowboy hat with a motorcycle helmet. On a serious note, farmers in the area have been pretty worried. They've spent lots of sleepless nights concerned that anything might just fall out of the sky. It's good these pieces have landed in open spaces, but who knows if the next one might hit the roofs of their homes. What's more, three fragments were discovered before this one. Surprisingly, this wasn't the first fragment that's been discovered. On July 9th, locals reported hearing an incredibly loud bang, and then a couple of days later, a farmer came across a huge piece of metal in the middle of their sheep paddock. The farmer, Mick Miners, immediately called his neighbor, Jock Wallace, who had come across similar pieces in his own paddock just a few days ago. Two of these pieces were discovered on neighboring farms in Dalgetty, while the third one was found near Jindabyne. And now, we've got a fourth piece to add to this seemingly growing collection of space junk. This one turned up on a cattle farm in Tumbarumba. Next up, what astrophysicist Brad Tucker has to say about these pieces. We told you how Jordan was so close to throwing the fourth piece away when he realized it looked similar to the previous three fragments. The farmer ended up calling astrophysicist Brad Tucker, who is affiliated with the Australian National University. Brad Tucker's examined all three of the previous pieces, and judging by that, we can safely assume he knows these pieces by heart now. When he inspected the fourth piece, he said it was no big surprise that this one belonged to SpaceX as well. The fourth piece resembled the previous three in both its composition and its make. What's more, it fell from the same flight path as the last three fragments. Following up, Australian Space Agency collaborating with SpaceX. As these pieces keep crashing in the snowy mountains, we've got the Australian Space Agency in constant contact with SpaceX to confirm that the pieces indeed do belong to a recent SpaceX mission. A spokesperson from the agency shared how they're collaborating with people at SpaceX to figure out what steps should be taken after this. Right now, it's important to talk about if SpaceX wants these pieces back and if they're urgently needed back in the US. What's more, it's also crucial they discuss what else they should know about this event that's causing space junk to be found all over the snowy mountains. As Brad Tucker confirmed that the fourth piece was from the SpaceX mission, we can't help but wonder if more similar pieces are out there. Let's take a look at all the details that have come up after this event. Now, let's move on to all the details that have emerged about this bizarre sequence of events. The story begins with locals hearing a sonic boom in the area on July 9th. Right after that loud noise, these pieces started appearing on different cattle farms. It's an understatement when we tell you how worried the farmers are. The boom was traced back to the SpaceX Dragon capsule. The spacecraft re-entered Earth's atmosphere somewhere around the same time the boom was reported by the farmers. The whole thing gained so much attention that the United Nations had to arrange for a committee to oversee how to handle the situation with all this space junk. The committee released
released a public statement on August 29th, where they shared details about the pieces. The three pieces weighed somewhere between 25 and 100 kilos. What's more, they're all made out of titanium, steel, aluminum, fiberglass, carbon fiber, and some insulation material. Based on these parts, the UN committee said these pieces aren't harmful at all. Right now, they're under private custody. Even if the pieces themselves are harmless, the concerning thing is that these could have hurt the livestock on these farms. Something worse could have happened if the pieces had fallen on someone's home. So far, nothing of that sort has happened. But farmers are right to worry because of the uncertainty that more pieces will fall out from the sky or not. Up next, everyone's wondering what SpaceX will do with these pieces. From what we've heard, a couple of SpaceX officials visited the properties in Snowy Mountains, where the pieces were discovered. They acknowledged that the pieces belonged to their spacecraft and came to inspect them up close. The visit took place back on August 10th. Now that there's been a fourth piece to the collection, the Australian Space Agency's wondering if SpaceX will conduct another visit. Still, we've got no idea what SpaceX intends to do with the pieces. According to Tucker, the pieces are officially SpaceX property, but the organization hasn't made it clear whether they want the pieces back or not. Tucker's inclined to believe that they may not want the pieces back, but that's just a hunch on his part. He could be wrong. Finally, how it's concerning. They've kept the public in the dark about this. The situation's alarming because pieces of metal falling from the sky is serious business. It poses plenty of risks, especially if the pieces have been falling near residential areas. It puts people's lives at risk. Space law expert Cassandra Steer believes that SpaceX should take more responsibility and be upfront about this because when they were contacted, their spokesperson said this was expected. Well, if it was expected, then they should issue a public notice describing the potential risk that comes with their activities. Now, in other related news, first off, we've got a beautiful new image of stars being born inside the Tarantula Nebula. We all know what a success the James Webb Telescope has been. Recently, NASA released two more images taken by the telescope, and goodness, those are some really beautiful photos. In these recent photos, we can see the birth of new stars inside the Tarantula Nebula. The first photo highlights an expanse of 340 light years, where you can spot a group of stars trying to make space in the center of the nebula. The second image shows a cluster of gas surrounded by blue glowing dust, and you can see all the hot stars fading in the background. Scientists have always been interested in the Tarantula Nebula, and now these new images have sparked their interest once more. Now, for a new collaborative project between Microsoft and SpaceX. Looks like Microsoft is teaming up with SpaceX in order to bring about improvements to its cloud program. Microsoft Azure's private government customers can now access the program from almost anywhere through SpaceX's Starlink satellite constellation. The release of Azure Orbital Cloud Access depends on how the customers find the cloud's programming. In this time, Time and age, we're all worried about getting things done fast. Pairing SpaceX's satellites' high-speed connections with Azure's amazing infrastructure, that's bound to provide some great computing access to both the private and public sectors. Lastly, we've got a new commander for the International Space Station. There's been a change of command up in the International Space Station, and our newest commander happens to be Italian astronaut Samantha Christopher. She's the first ever European to have taken the role of commander at the ISS. As commander, Christopher Eddy will oversee all the activities taking place at the space station. A ceremony will be held on September 28th, where the previous commander will hand over a key to Christopher Eddy, officially bestowing the duties of commander on the Italian shoulders. Her first task will be to ensure that the transfer of responsibilities from the old crew to the new one goes as smoothly as possible. Astronauts spend a lot of time up there at the space station. They're busy conducting various experiments to see how weightlessness affects the human body. Cristoforetti has to make sure all of these experiments are conducted smoothly and that nothing goes wrong. That's
that's a wrap for this video. Do you think SpaceX needs to take responsibility for the space junk? Are the farmers right to worry? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.